In this video, we're going to talk you through how to operate your Tardo X thermostat. We'll take you through how to operate the smartphone app and also the physical device. Let's start here with the wall unit itself. So when the wall unit is in standby mode, you've got a black screen and there's no PIR that's going to light up when you go near it. To see what's going on, you need to press any button on the device to wake it up. What you'll see when you first activate the thermostat is the current room temperature here. As you move the up and down arrows, this is your target temperature. Now something to note is when you're doing this, on the left hand side you've got some symbols. So when you see the little hand sign, what that means is that the product is in the manual mode. If you saw a little calendar here, it means it's in the schedule mode. If you saw a little man running away from a house, that means it's in away mode. And if you see a green leaf, it means it's in energy saving feature. Now what that means is it's detected an open window and it's trying to reduce the temperature because it thinks you want some fresh air into the property. So when you adjust this, just make sure that you're in the right setting because if you're in manual mode and you leave it on 24 degrees or 25 degrees, it's gonna stay in at 25 degrees until you turn it down again. So just remember when you override the temperature on this wall unit you need to check what mode you're in because if you're in manual mode whatever you set it to it will stay that temperature until you later reduce it and obviously you don't want the heating to be on too long now the functionality on the wall unit is pretty limited all you can do is adjust the temperature and see the mode you're in if you want all the features of tardo then you need to use the smart app let's take a look at that now to get the Tardo Smart App, simply head to the App Store or the Google Play Store and make sure you download this one here. You don't want the installer one because that won't work for a home user. You want the orange or yellow Tardo app. Once you've downloaded it, you'll be able to connect your thermostat to your smart environment. And that's really easy to do. Ideally, you want your installer to do this for you. The Tardo app has a tile layout and each tile has a different function. We're gonna run through those in a second. But first of all, let's talk about the main one, which is the scheduling device. So if you click on the top left-hand side, this will show you what your current room temperature is. Now, right now on this one, the status is offline. That's because the receiver for this unit on this test rig isn't wired up. What you would see here normally is your room temperature, the current room temperature and your target room temperature and you could adjust that on the slider. What we want to do is manage the smart schedule. So you can access this on the top right hand side of the screen. Simply click the smart schedule and you can see you'll have some pre-configured schedules. You can click into each day. So if we click on Monday, we can see that between midnight and 5.45, we want the temperature of the property to be 12 degrees. And then at 5.45 until 7.15, we want to bring the temperature up to 22 degrees and so on. Now what you can do is you can just amend these preset times on temperatures. So if you wanted to, you could increase that to 23 degrees, 25 degrees, and you could extend the actual period it was on for. You might want it on for another 15 minutes, send it to 7.30, and you just save on the top right hand of the screen. Now as standard, you'll get five blocks in your daily schedules, but if you want to add a sixth or seventh block, all you do at the bottom is add time block, when you want it to come on, when you want it to come off, and the temperature that you would like. Now what you can also do is, if you, rather than setting each individual day and remembering what settings you had, you can simply use this copy section here and you can copy it on to a new day. So if rather than entering them repeatedly, you might want to do Monday to Friday on one schedule and maybe the weekend you'd like a different heating pattern, it is different on this one here and then you can have a different schedule for the weekend. Okay, the next feature we're gonna look at is this geofencing section. So as standard, Tardo gives you the option to say you're at home or you are away, and it uses something called geofencing, and that's location-based um, tracking on your mobile phone. When you leave the property and start to go out the area, as standard, you will get a push notification to say, it looks like you've left the property, do you want to turn to away mode? And what away mode will do is lower the base temperature of the property, and as you come back towards the home, it will notice 
notify you again via a push notification to say, are you on the way home? Do you want to turn the heating back onto the schedule? Now there is a way to automate this and it's via this auto assist, but with Tardo, you do have to pay for it. And they have two options for this. You can pay £3.99 per month, or you can do it in a yearly plan at £29.99. Now, the only thing about this plan is there's not a huge difference. As you can see on here, as standard for geofencing, you get a push notification to your phone. With auto assist, it's an automated process. So rather than asking you, are you coming home? The phone will track you and activate the heating schedule without you having to press anything. And that's the same for the open window detection. So Tardo has a feature where it can sense air pressures changing in the property. And this technology can detect if a window or a door has been left open for an extended amount of time. And what it will do is ask you via a push notification, hey, it looks like you've got a window open, do you want to turn the heating down with the goal of saving you energy? When you have auto assist enabled, when you're paying for it, this is an automated process. And again, it's designed to reduce heating bills. There are some other features. There's Energy IQ, which gives you insights on how much energy you're using. This is a standard feature on auto assist, but everything else is included. So really you are only paying for automation of open window and geo fencing. What Tardo also has in is something called weather adaptation. Now what this does is look at the local weather in your area and when you set a target temperature of let's say 21 degrees at 7 o'clock in the morning, Tardo is going to look at the local weather. If it's super cold outside, it may bring that heating on slightly earlier to make sure we achieve that target temperature. So it's pretty smart. Likewise, if it's already warm outside, it may delay that first ignition to try and save you energy. The next tile is air comfort. So what air comfort does is give you information about the inside of the property. Now this is done using some sensors built into the equipment itself and what it will do is tell you if it's too humid, too cold, too dry or too warm and it will make a recommendation for your heating or to open windows based on what the sensor is telling you. It'll also tell you the current external weather temperature. And finally, you've got Energy IQ. So like I said before, as part of that upgrade for that subscription or that one-off fee, you unlock Energy IQ. This essentially is insights to your energy behavior. And what it can do is simulate how you could change some behaviors and what that change would save you in terms of energy usage. It's a pretty smart feature, but obviously if you're just looking for a smart enabled thermostat, and you're not that bothered about this sort of um, technology that's probably not worth paying for. Other features at the bottom, you can get to your smart schedule really quickly and you can also get to some settings around your account. You can add people. You can also refer a friend on Tardo. So you get £20 every time you refer a friend. You refer them by entering your name, your email, and then you enter their name and their email. You've got a support community you've got a help center, and you've got some analytics about what's going on in the system itself. In this section, we thought we'd share you some good to knows about your Tardo X thermostat. So something that comes up quite a bit with these is we get questions around why has my heating reached the target temperature, but the boiler is still on? Well, this is all linked to that local geo weather system. And what Tardo is doing is looking at the outside weather temperature, and it's also monitoring how quickly your property cools down. So if it's a really cold day, or your property has a very leaky heat retention, then what it will do is it will keep the heating on longer to try and keep the house as comfortable as possible. So don't get too worried if you've set it for 21, the thermostat is showing 21 degrees, but the boiler is still on. It's the algorithm working in the background. Also something else to know about Tardo X thermostats is they're not just designed for gas boilers. They work on LPG boilers, they work on underfloor heating systems, and they also work with all of the popular heat pump brands so like Daikin, Valent, Panasonic. You can have Tardo X thermostats controlling those as well. It's not exclusive to boilers. And finally, some troubleshooting. There's lots of guides in that community and support section of the app, but if you do 
find that your Tardo thermostat needs resetting, it needs a hard reboot, then it's really easy to do. All you would do is hold down this center button here for six seconds and it will go into a factory reset mode. Now this is really rare, you shouldn't have to do this. Maybe if you've took the thermostat out or you've had an issue with it and you're looking to reconnect it, hold it down for six seconds. If that doesn't work, then go to the actual receiver itself. On the right hand side of the receiver, there's a button, press that for six seconds and that will also repair the actual unit. And also, if you need to change the batteries, it's really easy to do. If you take it off the wall, this is a wall plate and it just pulls off. So it's not too difficult to remove. That will be screwed to the wall and this just pulls off and your batteries are in here. So they are three AAA batteries. What's cool about Tardo is on the front of the screen, when your battery starts to die, you will get a little warning on the top right hand side flashing with a battery sign. So if you see that, get them changed and keep that connection to your thermostat. So we hope that was a useful video in giving you information on how to control your Tardo X thermostat. Now this is a brand new product, so if you find some additional features or anything you wanna share with other viewers of this video, then leave a comment below. And also don't forget to subscribe to the Heatable YouTube channel.